what's up guys, I'm Sonia. And I'm Justin. And we're the Funko Fiends. And today we're taking a look at the Mickey Mouse Funko Pop from the Kingdom Hearts line. So taking a look at the outside of the box, of course we've got the Kingdom Hearts logo here up at the top, as well as Mickey on the front and sides with his keyblade there. And then on the back of the box we've got Mickey, Donald, Goofy, Pete, and Chip and Dale on the back. So then taking a look at this figure outside of the box, and we're going to do a little comparison with the original Funko Mickey, and it is a crazy difference between these two figures actually, um, especially when you have them side by side, just like the color of their faces and everything is so different and um, it's really nice to see like this super updated uh, Mickey sculpt here um, but just taking a look at the figure we'll take a look at his body first he's got his awesome little Kingdom Hearts costume on there and it looks really really nice um, all the paint looks really really solid on this one it's very bright you know very red looks really really nice kind of looks like a Santa suit or something like that I guess is what how you could say it um, and then he's got like his classic like Mickey gloves on there, which is really cool and his shoes um, Very Kingdom Hearts slash Disney still um, like the very Disney shoes with like the Super Kingdom Hearts styling and the straps and everything on them um, So that looks really good like the paint again looks really really clean on them um, Can't really complain about that taking a look at his keyblade. Of course. It's got the little like keychain slash like Mickey um, hanging down right there and the little handles all painted out silver and then there's gold all the way up the blade itself So that looks really really cool um, His keyblade looks really really nice and that's honestly like impressive of how it's got the little keychain even hanging down um, From the bottom it makes it look really really nice and he does have like the little frills like on the bottom of his shirt and everything and just like overall like his pose and everything that they chose for this figure looks really really nice and of course he's got like his little tail around the back um, and just like, like I was just saying, his, his general like overall pose is really nice for this figure and like the way that they have his tail and the way that they have his one arm, you know, kind of cocked back a little bit and his keyblade and in his other hand, um, looks really nice. The head is still like, you know, a very classic Mickey head. Um, looking at like the nose, it's, it's a way more pronounced than like the original Mickey mold would have been. Um, so that's really nice that like, you know, this looks so much more like Mickey and I think that this figure turned out really nice There is some like glue residue. I did notice like up on the top by his ears um, So that's like one thing to note But it should come off pretty easily usually if you just like wipe it off with like a little towel or something like that um, But overall I feel like this figure looks really really nice um, outside of the packaging and I don't see any flaws or anything in the uh, The mold and like his stance and everything is very impressive for this figure so then of course discussing the price and how we feel about the figure, this is a common so you'll be able to get it at pretty much most stores that sell pops um, or like the Disney pops rather. Um, so like Hot Topic, GameStop, Think Geek, we did get ours at um, Think Geek. So it was $12.99 um, which is you know standard for like a, the price of a common pop. Um, but how do you feel about this one? I'll let you go first. I really like the detail on this. It is like extremely detailed with all the little tiny painting. Um, his key... Um, Keyblade. Keyblade thing with the little keychain is really cool. I didn't even notice that until Justin said it. I love that it has the little Mickey head on the bottom. Um, but for his face, I really, really like this one. I love the color of it. I like that it's more of like a skin tone rather than white. And I like how his nose is so much more pronounced than the original. Um, it just, like, they completely blew this one out of the park. I hope that they do a regular Mickey with an updated mold. I like his tail, like how it's sculpted, uh, more than the original as well. So I think that, overall, it's just a really cool figure, and, um, I really like that. I really like this one. I mean, obviously, there's, there's really going to be some differences between these molds because this is based off of Kingdom Hearts, and this is just, like, classic Mickey on um, the other one. But, I mean, this one looks so much better. Um, it, it's just a really cool, like, updated mold, and obviously, like, anybody that's a, a big fan of Kingdom Hearts is really going to want this one. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that, even if they're not fans of Kingdom Hearts, but they are, like, Disney fans or Mickey fans, they're probably still going to want this one. And I just think it's a really awesome addition to the set, and it's probably, like, the coolest one out of the set. I, I can't wait for them to make, like, a Sora, just so he can have the Keyblade as well, because that's just going to be so cool. I feel like this one turned out really well, and it's probably, like, my favorite that they've made out of the Kingdom Hearts set so far. Yeah, and this so is... far that we've looked at, this is definitely my favorite. And um, it's just like so different from like any other Mickey that they've made too. That's another like really cool thing about this um, figure especially, is how different he is from like any of the other Mickeys that they've made so far. And it's just really, really cool. Um, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. 
If you did like the video, make sure you guys give it a like down below. Leave us a comment to let us know which Mickey is your favorite and uh, what you'd like to see next. And also get subscribed to see more of these videos in the future. Also click the little bell button so you get notifications as soon as we post. But you guys have a good one, good luck out there, and of course, keep on collecting. Bye! Hey guys, it's Justin. For the end of the video, we've put the button to subscribe, as well as a couple other videos we think you might also like. So get subscribed to see more videos just like this one from us soon. Thanks, good luck out there, and keep on collecting.